Locate that widow. Life had been very tough for most people in Lillian's country. Citizens were losing their jobs, businesses were crumbling, people were unable to feed themselves and their families, pay for their rented accommodation, pay school fees, and so on. Cost of living was becoming unbearable. Many people took to crimes. Many Christians became discouraged and cold towards God and his things. He knew the situation they were in and could easily deliver them. Why then was he silent? Why was he turning deaf ears to their cries for transformation in their country? Many people contemplated suicide. There were actually people who did take their own lives because they could no longer bear the pain inflicted on them by the situation in their country, which definitely made the enemy happy. Many others reached out to relatives, friends, brethren in Christ, and other people whom they felt were in a position to help them out financially. Even some who ordinarily would not ask for such help got to a point where they had to cry out for help to save themselves and their families from perishing under the weight of financial problem that was on them. Lillian had always had a very generous heart. This time though, she was actually getting really overwhelmed with requests for help. She began to feel frustrated because she couldn't adequately help everyone she would like to help. Then she cried out to God in frustration. The Lord gave Lillian a word that calmed her down and gave her peace. Let's learn together from that word. In 1 Kings chapter 17 from verse 7 to 16, we are told of how during a time of severe drought and famine, God sent Elijah the prophet to the house of a widow in Zarephath whom he had commanded to take care of him. God assured the widow through Elijah that the food she had at home would not finish before he sent rain. That was exactly what happened. God multiplied what the woman had at home so that she and her son and the prophet, along with whoever else was in her house, were well fed for the rest of the time when there was famine in the land. In 2 Kings chapter 5, we read the story of Naaman, a leper, who was commander of the army of the king of Syria. He was informed that his leprosy would be cleansed if he presented himself to Elisha, the man of God in Israel. At the end, Naaman got cleansed of his leprosy. Now, Jesus said in Luke chapter 4, from verse 25 to 27, I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time, when the sky was shut for three and a half years and there was a severe famine throughout the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them, but to a widow in Zarephath in the region of Sidon. And there were many in Israel with leprosy in the time of Elisha the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. That's the New International Version. It is not everyone who is in need that God wants to help through you. If you are like Lillian and are fretting for not being in a position to help everyone that seeks help from you, or because you are not able to help out as much as you want to, Stop beating down on yourself. You are not God and so cannot solve everyone's problems no matter how much you love people and no matter how desirous you are to be of help. Simply ask the Lord to show you the people to whom he is sending you, the people whose help he wants to pass across through you. There are people who do good works out of emotion. They get carried away and begin to run around to help others. There are also those who just want to help so that nobody will think they are stingy or uncaring. Some give out of pride and vanity because they want to be praised. We are not to do good things because of our emotions or for any other wrong reason, but because we are convicted by the Holy Spirit. For everyone who is in need of help, God has the instrument he wants to use to render the needed help. Let the Holy Spirit guide you to those people the Lord wants you to help. Don't feel bad if out of a hundred people who are asking you for help, you are able to help just ten. You cannot do more than what God empowers you to do. Always prayerfully locate the widow and the leper the Lord wants to bless through you. And keep praying for everyone in need. But if God gives you grace to conveniently help 90 people out of, out of 100, but you choose to help only 10, you are actually working against yourself. May the Lord help us all in Jesus' name. Amen.